I'm going to show you how to quickly make a basic drop down menu using Captivate. So I'm actually going to start by adding a couple of additional slides. Actually, I don't want to make these titles like they nice big words in the middle. Okay. So this is gonna be the it's gonna be the home slide, say duplicate that. This is gonna be the help slide. Okay, and then I'm going to give these slides a title. See now it shows up on the left there. That makes it easier later on when you are making buttons to go to these things. Okay, back to slide one. Okay, so this is just going to be the slide where I build out the menu. All right, first thing I'm going to put in a shape. It is it's really basic. I don't know. Let's make it blue. And I don't like having a stroke. I'm going to get rid of the stroke. Okay. Then I'm going to put in... Actually, I'm just going to duplicate this. I can do Control D for duplicate. And I'm going to make this smaller. And this is going to be... Oh. Double clicking on it. This is going to be the button that goes to the home screen. Okay. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Will it fit nicely in there? It should. Okay, now I'll duplicate that twice. And actually, I'll leave it there. Okay, it's gonna be an exit button to exit program. It's going to be a help button to jump to the help screen. So now I'm going to layer these on top of this. All right, no, notice that these don't have a stroke, but you can still see that line of the button, which is kind of helpful. All right, so I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna click use as button. And the action is on success, I want it to jump to a certain slide and it's gonna to jump to the home slide. This one, use as button, actions, jump to slide and it's going to jump to the help slide. Last one, use as button, action, when successful, oh, I know it's right in front of me. Oh, exit. So it'll exit the program. Okay, now next thing, I'm going to duplicate duplicate that just one more time. When I duplicate things, it gives me um, you know, a button that looks exactly like it. And I'm going to make this show menu. I'm going to duplicate that once more. This is going to be hide menu. Okay. So this one's going to be used as a button as well. And, oh, you know what? I forgot a step first. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to unselect the show menu. And what I wanna do is I want to group this, okay? So now you can see this is all it's all grouped menu. And I want to rename this to drop down menu so that the object is easy to find later on when I want to use it. And now what I'm going to do is select the whole menu one more time. And I'm actually gonna click on this little eyeball up here. It's gonna be invisible, okay? So when we first um, load the screen, it's going to be invisible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this as a button and on success, it's going to show the drop down menu. Okay. So when we click on show menu, this is going to come up and then I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to select just the hide menu button and I'm going to use that as a button and on success for this button, I'm actually going to hide drop down menu. Okay. All right. So let's do a quick preview and see if this works. Oops. So open up the other screens. I got to drag this back over. Okay. All right. So you click show menu, the menu pops up, click hide menu, menu hides. Oops. I got to disable the, um, continue playing the project. Where is that? There you go. Okay, disabling and continue playing the project just so it um, keeps the timeline paused. Okay, 
Now, to make this prettier, what I'm going to do is put that up there. Um, I'm going to put that in the top left. I'm going to send this to the back because what I want to happen is have that hidden when the full on menu comes up. I'm going to line this in the top left also. Okay, so now I still have the drop down menu selected. Um, what I want to do is assign it an animation. So, whoa, I want it to look like it's um, flying in. So, choosing an entrance animation, it's going to be a fly in from top. Okay, and I don't like how that, whoa, what the heck is. Okay, I don't like how that's. You can, you can, this is the motion, and you can actually change the, um, the motion path. Okay, so I don't want it to come in from the angle. I want it to come in just straight from the top, like it's dropping down, like it's just hiding there all along. We'll see if this um, works. It gets kind of funky with animations. And then, no, I'm just gonna leave it like that. You can't have everything. You can't necessarily have it slide out without doing things that are a little more complicated. Um, I want it to be fast. I want it to be like half a second, so I'm gonna add that in too. Okay, so now let's try this again. Preview the project. Okay, I gotta drag this back over. Okay, so now we only see the show menu button. Look, I'm clicking it, it pops out. And I didn't do the animation, that's okay. Hide, show, hide, show, hide. So uh, there's, there's better ways to probably get it to, to actually animate out, like it's a true smooth experience but that's pretty good and then of course you can style this however you want you can change the states if you want okay so i was going to suggest putting this on the master slide but when i put on the master slide for some reason it gets a little bit funky and i don't feel like figuring that out right now so what you can actually do is just copy the entire thing and then you can select the slides you want it to go on and paste it on okay so I did throw in a button in the bottom to make it automatically pause at a second and a half so it doesn't just um, uh, continue rolling through all the slides because we all know how annoying that is. All right, let's try previewing this again. Okay, so show menu, jump to home, now we're on home, automatically pauses, show hide works here too, go to the help screen, show hide. Works here too. Boom! Exit, it exits. Alright, so it's not the, the prettiest thing in the world. Obviously you can style it a little bit more. You can do a little hamburger icon like a lot of apps have if you want that. But it gets the job done. And it's a shame we can't get the animation to work. Captivate's is a little bit funky with the animations. And because this is this is tied to an entrance, and technically this is hidden at the entrance, so you don't get to see the animation. Anyways, I hope this was helpful and I've included the practice file as well if you want to check that out. All right.